Hello everyone, my name is JP Yepes and this is my presentation for Introduction to Music Production Week 3. Today we're gonna talk about automation and Logic Pro 10 Essentials, common automation parameters, and automation modes. Let's start with some automation basics and tools. You can show or hide automation in the arranging area, and then you can enable or disable it for each track. When enabled, it can be manipulated by tools such as the pointer, the pencil, the eraser, and the marquee tool. Next, I would like to talk about the four main parameters we're gonna be working with. These are volume, pan, solo track, and mute track. The best way to show you what can be done with them is by creating a quick arrangement for a basic funk groove. First of all, we're going to add a fade in for our drum set. After that, I would like to avoid having both guitars all plumped up in the center of the mix, so I will add panning automation to spread them out, thus creating an idea of space. Next, I will try to create a break using the mute parameter and our guitar and bass are going to stop playing for one measure. And finally, I don't want my groove to randomly die out, so I am going to use the solo track parameter to leave the bass all by itself. Let's listen to our final mix. And that is our final groove. Don't forget that you can also automate software instrument and plugin parameters. I would strongly recommend experimenting with this. If you don't want to draw every single note in your automation track, Logic Pro offers various automation modes that will make this process a lot easier. First of all, read mode only plays back what's already written. Touch mode will be recorded as long as the fader is being manipulated, otherwise it will follow the previously existing automation data. Latch mode, on the other hand, will make the fader hold position after being moved. And finally, Write mode will record fader movement, but it will also clear any existing automation data. This one is not as useful because you can delete all automation using different mix menus. And that's my video for automation. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.